Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Ravenloft Strahd's Possession. We're here in uh, the Blood of the Vine uh, Tavern and Inn here uh, in Barovia. And uh, it's a little on the empty side, but we'll uh, take a look around and talk to people, starting with uh, this lady right here. Um... Hmm. I uh, I like this. This is probably the most sensible thing, but this uh, is a little bit funnier. <laughs> Pardon me, but you uh, seem to want to be left alone. Uh, that's an invitation for someone to ask why. <laughs> um, no, it's probably not. But that's that's what we're gonna do. Is it? In my case, I'm sure you're mistaken. You seem pleasant enough, but I have no need of company sympathy or your assistance. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that abrupt. Truly, though, at the moment, I desire very much to be left to my own devices. Hmm. Um, you know, of everyone I've met in this town so far, you seem to, like, you should, uh, the most like you should be one of us. It's but a feeling, uh, as though we walk similar paths. Hear me, for I'll say this once. Your business and mine are as separate as the rivers Iblis and Luna. Two black streams I hope never to see again. To have business in Ravenloft itself is to oppose me. For my single goal is to escape this pit of black bile forever. Were I to curse you, I would wish you luck in any business that keeps you here. Ah. Well, I mean, we're not looking to stay either, but fair enough. I guess we'll leave you alone. That seems to be, uh... The vibe that she's given off, uh, so we'll just be on our way. What else have we got in here? We got some rooms, it looks like. Yeah, we'll we'll come back here. Let's let's talk to everybody in the main area first, I guess. Seems like a sensible thing to do. I don't see anybody there. Uh ah, well here's our guy we met on the road. Uh-huh. Maybe it's not the same guy. Well, whatever. Young Vistani is a gypsy. You must know a great deal of the land outside this town. May we converse with you a moment? Ah, Giorgio, greetings. There are a few places in Ravenloft our Vardo caravans haven't seen. That's true enough. We're traders, entertainers, and escorts to the realm. That being said, allow me to act as a merchant and sell you the most excellent Vistani potion I am carrying today. Antidote to the venomous fogs in Barovia. Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, I guess it is the same guy. Um, I'm interested. Perhaps we could come to an agreement if the price is right. What are you asking for the potion? Fifteen coins, I believe. An agreement can be reached easily enough. Fifteen coins is the price. We'll start there, argue there, and finish them, Giorgio. Fifteen coins and a potion is yours. All right. Um. I see fifteen coins is all you will accept. Unfortunately, it's more than I can pay, regardless of the quality. No need to grow surly, friend. Times are hard, especially for a young Vestani such as I. In faith, I will make you this promise. That I shall hold the potion for you until you have acquired coin enough. Return then and we will conclude our business. Fair enough. Um, you called yourself an escort. Might you be persuaded to take us to your camp? Giorgio, outsiders are not welcome in camp. Well, not often. You don't know how the villagers treat us. Why, Bray Martikova is the only one who smiles when I enter the blood of the vine. I, I suppose I might be able to introduce you to one of our camp elders, perhaps even a seer. You're not a villager after all. But you would have to be blindfolded. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Well, I wasn't really planning on leaving just yet. Let's see if we can exit this conversation. Uh, we cannot. <laughs> oh, we can. Okay. Um, can we talk to you again? Like, what? What, what happens? Okay, yeah, I think I think we can probably talk to him again later. Let's 
We'll, we'll come back to you, my friend. <laughs> I don't want to leave. We just got here. Uh, let's see, innkeeper. Will you welcome us under your roof? We've been long on a chill road and would welcome a fire and a friendly hearth. Would you now, Outlander? Well, it's never been said Bray Matakova turned a stranger away from his tavern. And I'm Bray, so be welcome. Come in and warm yourself. You're in Strad's land now, you know. So I expect you'll behave yourself and pay your bills on time. Uh, yes, about that. Um, we were attacked on the road by highwaymen, brigands. Is the law so weak here that travelers risk their lives on Svalich Road? We have simple laws. Pay our taxes to the Burgomaster, and be ready to turn over to Strad anything else he may desire. Be it your gold, <coughs> your labor, or your life. And I tell you, worse than thieves roam our Barovian nights. Once the sun deeps below the peaks of the Balanok, horrors you can't imagine stalk our misty alleys. The villagers themselves often vanish at night, never to be found. Okay, that doesn't sound very good, but I guess that would explain where everybody's been going and why it's so desolate here, to some extent. Um... Well, this Strad you speak of, I've heard his name before. Could you suggest some way in which I might speak with him? <laughs> no. I, am uh, <laughs> by hell. Whatever land you come from, it breeds valiant souls. Strad is rarely seen. He resides in Ravenloft, a castle perched on a precipice north of the road, brooding over the village. By law, anyone entering the castle uninvited is put to death. Of course, I know of several invited guests who have suffered the same fate. Perhaps you should have a talk with our Burgomaster. That seems like a good idea. Anything you can tell me about the Vistani? Why ask me? There's the Vistani at the bar. That's him. Now is the caution. I'd best advise my customers to make a wide path about the gypsies. If Strad has eyes and ears watching over us, the Vistani are such. But this one, he seems regular enough. Never asked for credit and always keeps my patrons entertained. Well, fair enough. I appreciate the information. All right, what else we got? Got somebody over here. Greetings. You look like uh, this guy, <laughs> Falcon. Aha, uh -huh, blah, blah, who would have thought the old one had something to say? Aren't old men with gray beards the first to tell their stories to passers by? What has befallen a land where those who have nothing to lose won't part? With a simple smile. So we're not going to get anything out of that guy. And probably nothing out of you. Indeed. Well. What is in here? Looks like this is just a room. We could probably rest here. And we probably will rest here. Um, it would be nice to go back out when it's actually daylight. Um, we can also look at the map, I guess. And also, yeah, this feature does, in fact, mostly work, I believe. So we can, uh, scroll through all of our shenanigans here, should we so choose, but, uh, no need to right now. Let's keep exploring. So we've got another room here. And we've got... An actual bed there. Let's see what's upstairs. Okay. Dining hall, I guess, of some kind. Well, there's something here as well. Uh, just a closet by the looks of it. Can't interact with the crates as far as I can tell. Um... Maybe we can... <laughs> wonder if maybe we could bash him, but I guess not. So, we'll uh, keep cruising down the hall here and see if there's anything else. Um, nope, a couple bed rolls in here. And what about here? It's a little bit different. I think that's a... is that a cat? Or is that like a... It sort of looks like a cat. 
I don't know, man. Let's just looking at it from this direction. I think that I think it's supposed to be a cat. <laughs> And I think that's everything we've got here. Yeah. So we've explored the end. We, um, we'll come back here uh, at a later date um, when we're ready to perhaps check out the Vistani camp. Uh, in the meantime, let's just uh, see if we can rest here. And uh, that's interesting. You can't. Did she not wear a shield and fight? Or can she just not use that sword at all? A long sword. She should be able to use a long sword, I think. Maybe it's because of her rank in the party. I think it is. This long sword probably has, or this two-handed sword probably has more reach. Um, so he can fight from the back rank. Whereas if we, um... Go and uh, click on her again and switch you guys. Yeah, now she can fight. Okay. Mystery solved. <laughs> so um, we don't need to worry too much about that. We'll put you put you guys back in uh, in order like this. And you might as well just keep your shield. That's fine. And I think that's the way it is because we're inside. I could be wrong. Um, at any rate, yeah, let's, uh, let's camp. I did memorize spells with you, right? Indeed, I did. Okay. And you don't have anything new just yet. Um, what about cleric stuff? Um, I was looking for, yeah, brain. Not just yet. All right. Well, let's rest. And we don't need to cast any spells, I don't think. I'd like to know what time it is, though. Yeah, it's daytime. Good. A little bit dark out, but, um, except it's acceptable. All right, let's take a look at our map. So we have the in here. We may just need to start going into buildings at this point. So I'm really not sure what else we would do. I'm not really sure. I think maybe we'll just put like an X on buildings that we've gone into. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got bandits in here. Okay. Interesting. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. All right, so it's not safe to just go willy-nilly into uh, these various rooms, is it? <laughs> I guess we had better be a little more cautious. And we'll heal one more time here. So let's get uh, some buffs up. I guess I'm going to cast Blur on him. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Armor. And uh, then for you, we'll do one of those. One of those. One of these. And one of those. And I think she also has uh, a little bit of magic. She can cast shield on herself. That shield only works against ranged weapons, I believe. Um, but we'll uh, we'll cast it nonetheless. Okay. Well, now that that's done, let's uh, go to our map here. So we went. We just went into this one. So I'm just gonna put like an X. Maybe even. Also, I figured out one, two, three, four. So you yeah, have hit enter four times and it gets rid of that. So I'm just going to put an X there to note that we've been in that building. If that makes any sense. Let's see, we've seen there are some places we're not meant to enter regardless of our efforts. Just to waste no more time, thought, thought nor muscle on this door. Okay. Um, I see it. We can't go in there because it doesn't even look like a uh, place we would go. Now look at that. That looks like something maybe we could use 
these on. I think the way you do that is by putting it on the mouse and then doing this. By the crafty hands of Adelek, master thief of the realm and my mentor, this lock cannot be kicked, cannot be picked. I've tried all I know. Okay. Um, can she do it? Oh, I guess it's just going to automatically use whoever's first. Um, but maybe it just can't be picked. So there you go. We'll uh, just write down. Um, like red, uh, red lock for this one. All right, let's check out this one. Just a couple old folk. <laughs> I guess they do have a little bit of extra dialogue. I'm not going to read all of this, though. Rarely have I encountered a trapdoor so obstinate it refuses to open from above, but such is the character of this one. Only those below its stubborn hinges must be able to open it. Interesting. So we aren't going to be able to open that from here, but maybe we'll find our way in there eventually. They don't seem to mind that we're going to... Just look around their house. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and this is just another door leading out, I guess. Um, all right, let's uh, put down uh, trap door. Um, one way, I guess. You're not gonna talk to me, right? No. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Looks like we got a building to the north and one to the east. We'll go in this one. This one's a little bit bigger. Mm, nothing there. I don't know if these are going to change at night as well or what. I don't really want to go in all of them twice, though. I don't think there's a scroll here. Ooh, and some potions. We'll take those. Definitely take these. Absolutely. And what do we have here? Their scroll of neutralized poison. That um, sounds useful. Yes, we'll take that as well. Somebody's laughing it up. But uh, it's not... Not this guy, I don't think. <laughs> um, okay. So I think we've checked out everything we can check out in this particular place. Unless there's something over here. I think this is just another exit. Yeah, okay. So we'll uh, just go ahead and we'll put an X on that. All right, let's go to the uh, the north here. Well, we've got some arrows and a bow. Another composite bow. Um, we don't really have a lot of space for these particular things. Um, we will cast detect magic, I guess. Oops, I cast dispel magic. <laughs> This dispelled all of our buffs, probably. Yep. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. That's okay. We'll make do. Seems like that one place was kind of just a fluke. Just want to see if uh, any of these were magical. I think they would be blue on our mouse cursor if they were. Although they may not strictly be true. Like, I guess if I... Yeah, actually, I guess they wouldn't be, so we would have to actually put them in our inventory, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll, we'll pick up the, the bow. Bow does not appear to be magical, so we'll, we'll just remember there's some arrows and stuff here. For now. I almost thought maybe there'd be a secret door there or something, but I don't see anything. Okay, to the map, and we will write down that we have 
a uh, a bow here. Go pick that up later, should we uh, so desire. And I think we better save the game just uh, for good measure here. Let's see where else we might want to go. Maybe uh, that building there. We turn around. Looks like this one might be empty. Or maybe not. Maybe I guess this is part of the same building. Let's see. My hands have gone cold and my heart with them. Afraid the chill of this place will make for a cold welcome once we are inside. I came to destroy you! Yet, in tasting the will of this body, I know you to be different than those who slew us long ago. My name would have been Strobel then, a humble jeweler. He and his keep by the skill of his hands, content in both life and the love of his wife and children. Now I am vengeance, unappeasable, unwilling to forgive. I have risen up to exact revenge on those who murdered us. And though I will not kill you, I will use you! He who took our lives was called Victor Grimmig. In the years to follow, he became rich, a powerful man capable of escaping all justice. At last, it is believed he escaped death itself and rules still from the darkness of his own tomb. Go, go to the cemetery and find you there a lord of ghouls, the undead murderer of my family. Destroy Grimmy, or I will turn my inner appetite for vengeance upon you! Holy shit. <laughs> How did it come to this, if you, if you were once, as you say, a humble jeweler? Thieves in the night, they came for stones, for amethyst and agate, for opal and emerald. These I gave them, really, yet their leader, Grimish, chose a dark course and stole from us our precious lives. I begged, but it did not stay their evil hands. I have sought them all out. All are gone. Save one. Grimmy, the ghoul lord. Okay, will you release us from your influence once we have done as you command? I'm wondering if he cast a Gaius on us. Gay? Something like that, I think that's what it's called. Basically a spell that makes people do stuff for you. Some humanity remains in this, my fearsome presence. Yes. Destroy the ghoul, Lord, and you are free. Further, I will share with you a secret. Go now, fight, live, and return. Okay. And I think we got possessed. <laughs> Ooh, we're a little... She's looking a little possessed. Just a bit. Um, well, we've got Victor Grimmick's Bone Vault Key. That's going to be important, so let's not lose that. Uh, Main Scroll of Fireball. Main Scroll of Improved Identify. We'll save those for now. Um, you're not going to, like, die, though, right? Possessed. Still the same stats and everything, so that's good. Okie dokie, well... Um, this ghost is a little grabby for my taste, but I suppose, you know, we're on a holy quest or whatever, so uh, what's a little vengeance, uh, you know, between friends or so something like that? <laughs> um, okay, well, I don't see, oh no, here we go, we got a little something else here, oh, that's going to lead us outside. Well, so be it. At least I think it is. We can... No, we actually can't go that way. So we'll go back this way. Alright. Fair enough. 
Um, we're gonna try to go back this way. Where's the door? Where? Is the, there's the door. Okay. Let me put that over in game two. <laughs> I hope there's not like a timer on this. Because uh, that would be inconvenient. It wouldn't surprise me if this game is more than happy to inconvenience me, but uh, we shall see. Um, Ghost Jeweler. So that's where we found the guy. I don't know if we ever have to come back here. I'm just going to note that that's where we found him. Um, okay, let's check out this house a little bit to the south, just to verify that it is, in fact, nothing. I think that it is. Yes, okay. So then, if we look at our map a little bit more, let's uh, scroll it over just a bit. So that's the edge of town. We've been in a lot of these. There's one down there, but we're not anywhere near there right now. So let's go this way instead. So we've got another few houses over this way. We'll definitely check these out. I think this was one of them, yes? Whoa, all right. Where's the cat? Who stepped on the cat? <laughs> Careful now. We've entered this home without invitation. You should be cautious of our wanderings within. Above all, we should be polite in our inquiries. Okay. Is that another trapdoor? That's just a rug. Okay, now he's got nothing to say. Um. Oh, your sword is magic. Did not realize that. Um. Yeah, okay, so nothing uh, apparent here. What about this one? Mm, don't see anything here. Not that I'm necessarily expecting to find a lot in these houses. Oh, there's there. somebody there. Is that the ghost talking, or is that her talking? Not sure. But, uh, there we go. We can put an X on that. And, uh, keep on keeping on here. We're gonna go this way, and we're gonna check out this house to the south first. This little one. Cruel to say, but this is not a happy, jovial place to be. I dare say I passed through villages where a egg... <laughs> has left them with more life than we'll find here in Barovia. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Ah, we do have a couple potions. Oils of fiery burning. I'll take them. I'm sure you don't mind. She doesn't mind. She's she's cool with it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is uh, not even the one I intended to go into, but we'll <laughs> we'll put an X on it anyway. Okay, I wanted to go into this one actually, and here we have a broken table and two cats. Hello, cats. Meow. A little more lively than the one we found in the inn. Um, okay. I will write... Cats. Because I can. Not that it probably is ever going to matter. Alright, let's check out this, uh... This big house now. Okay. Uh, anybody home? Aha! That's useful. Definitely want one of those. And a cloak that may or may not be useful. Uh, definitely not useful because we, uh... We have detect magic on and we can see that it is not magical. So... Alright. Just a guy there. 
eating breakfast or whatever he's doing, or I guess it could be uh, lunchtime or even dinner time, and then some. <laughs> Whoops, that's uh, the uh, the wrong thing. Looks like there might be something there. Let's just take a quick look. I think it's just a cubby. And it seems like we've lost the music. <laughs> Once again. Oh, there we go. It's back. Okay. Um, so we've searched that. Nothing there. Got a few more, though. Let's see. Oh, man. This is just the east side of town. <laughs> we got a lot more. We've got a lot more. Let's um see if we can knock out these ones to the south here. Let's see, I think we've done that one though. Yeah, let's keep going down this way and we'll do this one. Um cat on the table. It's uh was that a painting or something? Yeah, I guess so. It's all in black and white. For some reason, more of a sketch, really, I guess. Oh, somebody died here. Well, we got a dagger and another one of these thingamajigs. This dagger is not magical, though, so I'm gonna drop it. All right. We can, um. Just write, I guess we can write there's a, a dagger here. It doesn't really matter. In case we need one for some reason, another one, even. All right, let's check out this place. I don't see anybody. Oh, hello. Is that the uh, the woodsman from before? I think it is. Yeah, he's even still leaning on stuff. Um, we don't mean to intrude. Yes, we do. But, uh, are you all right? Yours is one of the few doors not barred to us, and we're in search of information. Door? Unlocked? Have I left the door open again? Does it matter now that my son is lost? You have no idea how I've searched. No idea. The townsfolk talk as if I never had a son, or as if he's been dead for years. If only the dreams would tell me more. Ah. Um, we thought to ask for assistance, but it looks like as if you might need our help. Are you well? Oh, my dear son. He's not alive. Not in Barovia. I can tell you that. Our father feels these things. He knows them in his dreams. The dreams. I've seen the dead, bloodless face of the boy, of my son. And I've heard him speak. In dreams, he tells me he will be avenged. And then lightning strikes in the forest, and he is gone. Interesting. Uh, we met a gypsy on the way here. Do you know the Vistani? My friend, have no dealing with the Vistani. I warn you. Such vagabonds may have had a hand in my son's disappearance. No good townsfolk will have aught to do with them. They deal in curses and fortune-telling. I believe them to be thieves. All right, well, we'll leave you be then, I guess. Sorry again to intrude and, you know, whole thing about your kid and, you know, you get it. Also, I'm going to look at all the stuff you have in your house. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, to make sure there's, make sure your kid isn't here hiding in the corner or something like that, right? Right. And he doesn't appear to be Yes, sir, this house is all clear of children, I am regret to say. But, uh, you know, we tried. <laughs> so, uh, with that, it's getting dark. We may want to head back to the inn soon. Um, yeah, but we do have a few other houses to explore. So, uh, we'll have to 
Man, it's gonna take <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Let's put it that way to get uh, to get through all of this. I mean, this is just half the town, I think. <laughs> 